What's up, YouTube? I'm not in the salon. I'm going to Melbourne, and you're going to come along for the journey. Two to three days of hairdressing with Adam outside. No mirrors, no scissors. I guess it's a weekend away with Adam in Melbourne. Wow. After two years or more of not being able to do much face-to-face -face and only digital, I was actually um, very excited to be asked to venture down to Melbourne with the Matrix team as a part of the L'Oreal group. For four days of hair fun, I got into Melbourne quite late on Friday. I didn't finish doing my clients till six, got an eight o'clock flight. Got there at 10, a call time. We need to be at the academy by uh, nine o'clock. And um, what a great way to start the, the adventure with a Uber ride with my good friend and colleague, Kobe. So we arrive at L'Oreal. It's a great facility, just had a, a huge upgrade. It's an amazing space to be able to work in. It was great to actually embrace and meet all the people that we enjoyed working with for so long. It was quite emotional when we arrived, just to see the gang again and know that I was about to spend 12 hours. The next four days with them was actually something that was really exciting. The event that I've been asked to participate in is called Main Stage. This is an industry facing event so other hairdressers will be attending and it's called Access. The reason why our event is called Access is because we are launching an amazing online education platform called L'Oreal Access. This is the backstage. The backstage is the hard working professionals coming together, working in harmony, creating this amazing education. It's going to actually revolutionise our industry. We're in the Matrix Technical Centre in Melbourne today and we are prepping for L'Oreal Access main stage. At the Academy, we are obviously preparing the models for the show, but it's more than that. It's about rehearsal, it's timing, where we need to stand, choosing the clothes for our model, making sure that they all work in harmony with the other models that are going to be on stage. Also, one of the things I actually like to be involved in is uh, a little bit of banter and uh, it's often you'll hear Kobe and I throughout the day um, basically taking the mickey out of each other and having a good time. It keeps it light and fun. Kobe, he's over there trying to get the makeup off his jacket. He uses hairspray. Yes, yes some men use hairspray. Um, it also like uplifts the room and I think uh, you want to be there on a professional level and the work obviously needs to be of a top quality but I think if we make the environment a bit light and a bit sort of jovial it just makes the day so much better and it was a big day it was a good solid 10 hours. Uh, we're going to be prepping models today for the show um, hopefully won't be here all day mainly today's colour um, we'll have 20 minutes on stage to finish the looks so it'll be fun because everyone in our team's going to do something different I'm going to do a haircut be probably a surprise to most of it didn't. There are so many people involved in this process. Mark, the head of L'Oreal uh, Events, he has the hardest job of it all. He has to get, uh, what is it, 10 hairdressers, 16 models, sound, choreography, everyone to come together in synergy. Mark is a very unique individual. He's a very talented man, um, and he's really the glue that tied this event all together. And just to see it come together, uh, is amazing and um, he makes those early morning starts, those call times at 5am, a hell of a lot more light. Kelly Lannister is our education manager at Matrix Australia. She is the uh, weight that brings us back to ground. She keeps us organised. I know it's a cliche, people say it a lot, but Kelly is the person that brings it all together. She keeps us organised, she finds us our models, she tells us where we got to be, when we got to be, which hotels to stay at, when to fly in, when to fly out. Um, she's an incredible woman um, and uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thanks to Kelly um, over the last few years. The models have arrived, we've gone out to grab them. We're bringing them into the academy and it's time to get down and really design the looks that we're gonna showcase for the main stage event. My model was fantastic. She came in and had no restrictions on what I could do to her hair. She said, I just don't wanna have no hair. 
models at these type of events are very unique. It is actually a specialised genre in the modelling industry. The girls out there can actually make a great living by being hair models and uh, the ideal model is one that is trusting of the person doing their hair, knowing that they're going to do something that is pushing boundaries but also we consider that they have to then get up tomorrow and go back to their daily life. So I decided to really focus on colour for this one. I wanted to be healthy, shiny and bold. I wanted to keep it dark and I wanted a pop of blue. So you're gonna see that come through on the exterior of the hair. And then underneath I went through and did lots and lots of highlights. And then went back and did some amazing matrix copper. And I think that it actually worked really good and it ended up working really well with the haircut I was gonna do at the end. In the room, it's not just the Matrix team, we have the artists from L'Oreal Professional and also Redken. You can see everyone going about doing what they need to do to get prepped and ready for the show tomorrow. One of the things I love about being in this environment when I'm not doing hair, I actually learn a lot. I like to wander around and see what the other artists are doing. Obviously I have a great relationship with most of them. Some of them I met for the first time, but the majority of the guys, not within Matrix, but in the other L'Oreal Professional or PPD, uh, professional products division brands. I do have a great relationship with them and um, they're very open to allowing me to watch and check out what they're doing. It's how you build your, your ideas and your creativity so that you can then build on what you already do. It's like you're seeing what someone does, you you know, it inspires you to think a certain way and, and that's one of the, for me, one of the most favourite things about getting the opportunity to do these events. I get to fill my bucket back up with some amazing people, amazing hairdressers, some of the best in the world in fact, that actually, for me, are actually there, real, raw, open, transparent, it's just a great way to learn. It's rehearsal time. Now, as I mentioned before, we like to keep the mood light and we like to make sure that we make it fun. This is not the environment to do it. This is the most critical part of the event because if the artists, the assistants, and the models aren't all crystal clear on what's meant to happen, it all crumbles. If we don't look organized, if we go out there and we don't know what we're doing in terms of where we're meant to be, how the models are meant to walk, it just looks amateur. And the reason why it doesn't look amateur is because we all take this part very serious. But as you saw me go like this, when we walk into rehearsal, it's time to be quiet and pay attention. Uh, Laura and myself have just finished lightning angel's hair. How I'm cutting it really depends on the colour we are going to have because there's existing colour on the ends, which is obviously always hard to get out. And in the roots are sort of mid-length-ish, um, it's lighting really well. So I'm hoping to leave it long because I'd like to do something long and curly with a really cool fringe and framing a face and really focused on the colour. But if her hair doesn't go as curly as I think, then um, I'm actually going to do something like a bob length style haircut with, rather than just commercial, we're going to have some disconnections and something makes it a little bit more playful and fun. Something more suited to someone Angel's age. So we're just going through the rinsing and uh, Treating process, gonna take it back over there and gonna dry it off a little bit. One of the things about doing shows like this, it never goes to plan. You need to have plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You need, a, you need a whole alphabet of plans, really. I was hoping to do my model's hair curly. I had all these plans. Um, you can see that I, we just went through the process of color removal. Treating is very important. There's nothing more important than condition of hair, especially um, on your clients and especially in the show. When we're doing hair live, it's hard to see. There's lights in your eyes. You can't see much visibility. So the last thing you need to deal with is hair in poor condition. I had this big idea about what I was gonna do. Well, there was no curl in the hair and uh, I had to go to plan C. The stylist is another integral part of a show. I have not great fashion sense. I'm pretty sort of like long tee, ripped jeans and Yeezy sort of guy. But when it comes to hair and fashion and shows, I actually love having an input on it because I actually would like to think, maybe I'm wrong, that I actually have a pretty good eye for how the hair, the clothes, the makeup all ties in together. So it was great to jump in the room with the stylist and have a real good chat about the direction to uh, take my modeling in terms of what she was going to present in.
I think she's going to look really good. We're just sort of brainstorming colour, hair, long, short, curly, straight. And I think when you're doing stage work with experience, I've had things happen and you don't have time to go and get some, someone, you don't have time to, you literally got 20 minutes to finish your look, the clock's ticking and you need to be able to deviate from a particular look. So at the moment I'm formulating my mind whether it's going to be long, long or curly, long or short. As well as the amazing artists that work within the professional products division at L'Oreal, we actually have an amazing team of people who are actually employed by L'Oreal as educators, as, as a creative directors, as technical educators, and you'll see them in the video wandering around, providing not only assistance but advice. This is really a team event. Although we are employed to be the face of these brands, don't be fooled, without these people in our corner, we couldn't be as good as what we are. In actual fact, we wouldn't be as good as what we are. Laura is an example of the amazing people at Matrix. She was my right-hand woman on the day. I'm doing my highlights. She's obviously very, very experienced. And one of the things I'd like to clear up is hairstylists or hairdressers or colorists are transition from salon life to corporate life. Don't do so because they're not good. They actually do because they're some of the best. I couldn't have got through this monstrous color application if it wasn't for Laura helping me out. Hair's done, clothes are decided. Kelly has pulled Kobe and I aside and is talking about when we're out on stage, what we're gonna need, who we need with us. These things don't happen without like a, a, a tribe of people to support us. It was then time to wrap up the day and then um, any sort of finishing touches that we needed to do pre-show, as I mentioned, we like to leave a lot for the end. People can actually see in the crowd that it's not smoke and mirrors, at Matrix we actually do here.